Okay, the wind's picking up a bit, which is delightful. I love wind as long as there's not rain on the back of it. But there's a, there is a peacock over there, um, being out free in the open, so it's not like there's nothing. And a wallaby sofa. There is a wallaby still. I, I take it all back. It's not a wallaby. Sorry, it's a Mara. But when it was sitting, I thought it was a. It's a. It's a Mara. Yes, it's it's in the, it's roaming free in the zoo. Well, they won't let you get close to it. You can try if you want to. It's not that they'll do anything. They're not going to do anything to you. But what? But it's just it won't let you get too close to it. It's, it's going to be wary, isn't it? It's going to be wary. I'm going to the, I'm going to the rabbits. They're not rabbits. They're maras. Anyway, you'll see them better if you stay at a kind of distance like this. If they fancy coming up to you, they will. This is hobbling about, that peacock. Look at that. Oh, look at this! Oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's taking an interest. Aww. That's nice, it's very close. Okay, that's good. I'm glad we had a bit of that. I thought they'd got rid of all of them because we didn't see any earlier on. Those little ones are lovely though. And his tail is off. And obviously that's been taken out of the feather by feather and sold in the gift shop. Either that or taken by people here that have found them on the floor. But maybe they're seasonal, maybe they fell out on their own, I don't know. He's certainly hobbling about a bit though, maybe he's an old one. He's not going to appreciate you steadily marching up to his youngsters, her youngsters probably. What will he do? Well, obviously they'll run away but he'll be stressing the animal up for no good reason. Well, okay, let them come to you. Anyway, there's a white rhino, of which there aren't any. Oh, he's trying to get some milk off his mother. You don't want to interrupt feeding time, Sofa Lofa. There. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not going to do, going to do anything to you. Just having a bit of a film, as it is. You know how it is. If you don't know what it is being filmed by now, mate, you never will do. Come on then, Sophie. Let's see if we can see any of these white rhinos. They don't seem to be outside, so that means they're inside. You're still trying to get far too close to those animals, to those maras. What do you think you are, Mara Motsway? Look, you've already got them on the move. That isn't nice, is it? Now they're going to go in the rhino enclosure. You shouldn't have done that. Right over there, I can see him now. On the horizon, so they might not be indoors after all. Still no harm in in looking because that's part of the reason I'm here is to lose the old waiting. 
and that means a bit of a... Um, I've got my... I don't know if you can see it, my thingy on. Currently showing 1.9 already. Doesn't feel like 1.9 because we're walking around having fun watching animals and that's what I'm hoping that I get a really good walk in today and it doesn't feel like it. That's my hope. Sophie, I wish you wouldn't do that. You've separated it. I wish you wouldn't do that. You've separated it from the rest of them. Come on, come with me now. Let's go and have a look at the... Look, that's not, you're not doing it any good. Come on. That's it. Let it go back to its family. So we can see if these white rhinos are indoors. Oh, well, there's there is one. It reminds me of uh, Berlin Zoo, where I actually managed to infuriate one. It hasn't I haven't put that one up yet, but uh, I've managed to infuriate one of them just by looking at it, and it came right at me. Now, of course, there were all the uh, barriers in the way, so there was no danger, but it was uh, definitely telling me what it thought. So there we are. Big animal. You want to come up against this with no, with nothing in between. So there's the reindeer enclosure. I'm not sure this didn't used to be moose when I was a kid, but uh, they're nice enough. They haven't got red noses, have they? See, they're used to pull sleighs in the north. And the females also have these antlers as well as the males. That may be a female one we're looking at. And the male ones over there with even bigger antlers, huge things. Lovely. Joining you in the zone today. Sophie, this is for you. This is, this is for you to know. It'd be nice to watch free from roaming animals. Yeah, you've got a Chinese water deer, if you can find them. I've never seen one of those here. Mara, peafowl, Bobby, and jack. Don't feed them, you'll upset the balanced diet. Don't chase them, stress can make them ill. Leave families well alone. If you touch a baby, it may be abandoned by its mother. And then slow down, stick to our 10, 10 miles an hour speed limit, okay? No walking, because we're on foot, of course. I wasn't running, it was really slowly okay. going. Okay. Right. So I didn't make well, a let's, stress. Let's cross over again, because we want to cross over. And here, on this side, We've got the rhinos all lying down, not making very much of themselves at the moment. Right, well, this is this is kudos, okay? Not kudos, that's what kudos, kudos looks like kudos. That's what you get for making films on YouTube. And thumbos, that's what you get if people thumb your video up or down, it, at least it's a reaction. Uh, yeah. Um, no exit, no entry. Well, I don't know. I think you can go a little way. Because it's for cars more, isn't it? They used to be able to go up here and there was these lovely Cape hunting dogs at the end. And they're running away. Oh look, they are running. That's quite nice though, isn't it, to see how they run. See how they run. Lady Madonna, children at your feet. Okay. That was a nice bit of a, you know, running out for them anyway. Anyway, there's a little thing looking at you there. See? He's looking intently at us. This small Australian character, a little bit like Lord Moggy. Probably we'll find out whether Lord Moggy's still watching by mentioning his name and then he'll probably make a comment in the bottom if he's still seeing. Papa. 
It's not doing anything. It's not, oh, there's quite a few wallabies in there. Any road up. Those kudus didn't want to get photographed too closely. They're a little bit anxious. They don't like accountants in, in suits coming and photographing them. And it's spotting it down with rain a little bit, so we better make a bit of a... Oh, I'm going to put, put a bit of the old tempo on, I think. Similar to Horned Oryx over that side. A little bit closer, that's nice. I would like to get that.